Hello friends, let's discuss today's first question and uh, this one relates to sport. Uh, which country won the 2022 FIFA Under-17 uh, Women's World Cup? Now this was held in India recently. Uh, you have, I'm sure most of you have some information about it. Why didn't you write a bit about it? So FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup, underline that. Always underline key titles, okay? So what you write below it always relates to what's underlined. That's how it, you know, it should be seen. So number one, Moto, M-O-T-T-O, Moto, M-O-T-T-O, Moto. They could ask you what was the motto of the U-17, uh, you know, FIFA Women's World Cup. Uh, so you would say kicking off the, or kick off the dream, kick off, O-F-F, off the dream. Kick off the dream. D R E A M dream. Next, host India. Next, winner Spain. Spain. Next, runner up Colombia. C O L O. M B I A Colombia. Next, third place Nigeria N I G E R I A Nigeria. In case they ask you about the fourth place, now that is there is very little likelihood that you could be asked something like this. But since it's mentioned, I mentioned it. Right, Germany fourth place Germany. So top three, Spain, Colombia, Nigeria, followed by Germany in the fourth place. Next, Fair Play Award, Fair Play. Let's look at some awards. Fair Play Award, which country played the game in the spirit of the game? Fair Play Award, Japan, Japan. Next, Golden Boot Award, Golden Boot. For most goals, Golden Boot, Laureen Bender, L O R E E N. I repeat, L O R E E N. Laureen Bender, B E N D E R. Bender, Laureen Bender. In brackets, you could write her country's name, Germany, Germany. Next. Golden ball for best player. Golden ball for best player. So golden boot was for best, uh, what we say, um, you know, uh, best, uh, uh, highest goal scorer. For highest goal scorer. Golden boot for highest goal scorer. Next, golden ball for best player. Vicky Lopez. Vicky. Dub, sorry. V-I-C-K-Y. Vicky Lopez. L O P E Z Vicky Lopez of Spain S P A I N Spain Next Best uh, what say Best Gloves Best Goalie Best Goalie Best Goalie G O A L I E Best Goalie Best Goalie is Goalkeeper Best Goalkeeper in brackets, this award is called best, what say, gloves, best gloves, G-L-O-V-E, glove. That's how you pronounce it, glove, G-L-O-V-E, glove, best gloves, dash, Sofia Fuente, Sofia, S-O-P-H-I-A, Sofia Fuente, F-U-E-N-T-E, Fuente, of Spain. So Vicky Lopez and um, you know Sofia Fuente are both of Spain. Spain. The last point you could write: India, comma Tanzania, T A N Z A N I A, Tanzania, and Morocco, M O R O C C O, Morocco, M O R O C C O, Morocco. Dash Debut Nations 
डीई बी यू पी एस और डीई बी यू टी डेब्यू नेशंस डेब्यू नेशंस दे प्लेड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डीई बी यू टी डेब्यू नेशंस इंडिया अनफॉर्चुनेटली लॉस्ट ऑल द मैचेस इन फैक्ट दे डिड नॉट स्कोर ए सिंगल गोल फॉर देम सेल्स बट हैड टू कंसीड अबाउट सेवेंटीन गोल्स अगेंस्ट देम सेल्स यू नो अगेंस्ट देम देम सेल्स ओके सो दैट्स अबाउट द फीफा वीमेंस वर्ल्ड कप so Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva has been elected president of Brazil what is it Brazil yeah he was president earlier uh, but uh, he was sent to jail for uh, corruption uh, you know then the supreme court of Brazil overturned the lower court's order and he was made he was freed and um, he fought election against the president um, incumbent that is a guy who was in power jair bolsonaro jair j a i r jair bolsonaro b o l s o n a r bolsonaro so luis inacio lula da silva lula is his nickname his actual name is luis inacio da silva lula is a nickname so lula defeated the sitting president jair bolsonaro whose nickname the trump of brazil the trump of brazil so let's look at the names of the presidents of these countries you could write um, chile gabriel boric gabriel g a b r i e l gabriel boric b o r i c boric gabriel boric b o r i c next gabriel boric and uh, gabriel boric and we could look at uh, the president of argentina alberto fernandez alberto fernandez alberto fernandez next peru p e r u peru and colombia two countries peru pedro castillo pedro p e d r o pedro Castillo, C A S T I L L O, C A S T I L L O, Castillo, Pedro Castillo. Last one, Colombia, Gustavo Petro, G U S T A V O, G U S T A V O, Gustavo Petro, P E T R O, Petro. Which drone manufacturer recently signed an MOU with the Indian Institute of Science for collaborative research operations and services using unmanned aerial vehicles? The H in vehicle is silent. The H, I repeat, the H is silent. Okay, so it's pronounced vehicle. The H is silent. Okay. Um, so which two organizations? Garuda Aerospace. Garuda Aerospace. He has has tied up with the Indian Institute of Science um, in um, Bangalore. So what is this for? This is for you know geographical. This all these collaborative surveys would be you know operations would relate to geographical surveys for government of India and usually for society at large. So not for profit. Not for profit. um garuda aerospace uh, you know um the ceo of the Gar of garuda aerospace is agnishwar jayaprakash agnishwar jayaprakash agnishwar jayaprakash i'll not tell you the names of the ceos of this country company companies here but you look at the bae systems this is a british company europe's largest defense contractor This is uh, a company that manufacture aircraft, you know, fighter aircraft. They manufacture arms, ammunition, all military stuff, aerospace stuff. Hmm? Boeing is one of the world's largest defense contractors. It's also uh, one of the two largest uh, commercial airplane maker. Well, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, um, Bharat Dynamics are all public sector companies. Who in the following has authored or edited a new book titled Delhi University Celebrating Hundred Years? 
well uh, the answer is hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri my friends is um, you know he heads two ministries two important ministries in the government of india so i would suggest you write yeah please write one um petroleum and li petroleum and natural gas petroleum and natural gas and the second ministry he heads is housing and urban affairs housing and urban affairs housing and urban affairs okay housing and urban affairs uh, see he is written this book this book is um, about um, the stories of their most of its most 17 of its most famous alumni amitabh bachchan kiran rijiju yes shashi tharoor has written an article so people who have done exceptionally well like there is this paytm founder ceo uh, vijay shekhar sharma so 17 of these top class guys have written books about this particular university okay what about those guys here the choices kiran rijiju is you could write this law and justice minister law and justice minister kiran rijiju law and justice minister sashi tharoor of course um, is a former minister of state for external affairs but more importantly he is um, a a great author i would say if you want to write one of his books title book titles you write this india from midnight to millennium this is a fabulous book india from midnight to millennium from midnight to millennium m e l l e sorry m i l l e n n i u m millennium midnight to millennium i remember this is the first book i bought when i came first when i came to hyderabad in 97 so ladies and gentlemen um you know this is a book that captures the story of india between 1947 and 1997 so from midnight that's the time of our independence to millennium turn of the century turn of the millennium actually the first millennium hmm? so piyush goel you can write uh, what ministries he heads he heads three major ministries but um, usually we don't write the ministry that is not so not so major ministry of textiles you write one ministry ministry of textiles so what are the other two ministry heads commerce and industry we often discuss this commerce and industry is another ministry that um, you know piyush goel heads then there is his ministry of um, you know consumer affairs food and you know um, sorry public distribution food and consumer affairs to repeat consumer of um, uh, i'm sorry uh, consumer affairs food and public distribution fair yeah so piyush goel to repeat three ministries textiles commerce industry and then consumer affairs food and public distribution nitin gadkari nitin gadkari heads this ministry of uh, ministry of um, surface uh, sorry highways and road transport surface transport as some people call it highways and road transport okay i think that should be it yeah so which organization hosted a two day international conference in new delhi on the theme of role framework and capacity of election management bodies of course when it comes to elections it got got to be the election commission of india election commission of india so election commission of india um uh, you write a bit about this dash governed by article 324 governed by article 324 governed by article 324 of the constitution of india 324 dash comprises comprises one chief election commissioner one chief election commissioner and and two election commissioners and two election commissioners and two election commissioners
to election commissioners. So, who is the chief election commissioner of India? And by the way, as of today, there is only one election commissioner. Okay. There, there, usually there are two, but currently there is only one election commissioner and one chief election commissioner. You take the names of both the guys. Chief election commissioner. Chief election commissioner. Um, his name is Rajiv Kumar. Rajiv Kumar. Rajiv Kumar. And the election commissioner is Arup Chandra Pandey. Arup Chandra Pandey. A.C. Pandey. Hmm. Look at that choice A. Sorry, one. C.A.G. Comptroller and Auditor General. Comptroller. C-O-M-P-T-R-O-L-L-E-R. Comptroller and Auditor General. Comptroller and Auditor General. This guy audits the books of all government office, uh, you know, ministries, government departments, all public sector companies. And if necessary, private sector companies, if necessary. But usually audits the books of all government ministries, departments and public sector enterprises. The current, current CAG is Girish Chandra Murmu. Girish Chandra Murmu. M-U-R-M-U. Murmu. Girish Chandra Murmu. Hmm. Niti Aayog. Niti Aayog is the full name is National Institution for Transforming India. It's headed by um, the CEO Parmeshwaran Iyer. Parmeshwaran Iyer. Next, Union Public Service Commission is headed by Dr. Manoj Soni. S O N I. Soni. Manoj Soni. Next, the Supreme Court of India, the current Chief Justice is, um, you know, um, is Dhananjay Yashwant Chandrachud. D.Y. Chandrachud. Dhananjay Yashwant Chand Chandrachud. Okay. Who are the following Formula 1 drivers set a Formula 1 record of 14 victories in a single season after claiming the 2022 Mexico City Grand Prix recently? Westerpen, ladies and gentlemen, Max Westerpen is ranked as the fastest Formula 1 driver in history. Yes, I am a big fan of his. Max Westerpen is ranked the world's fastest Formula 1 driver. He's said to be technically exceptional and um, he belongs to a country called Netherlands. N-E-T-H-E-R-L-A-N-D-S. Netherlands. Okay. Netherlands. Netherlands. Hmm. He is a 2022 and 2021 Formula 1 world champion. 2021 and 22 Formula 1 World Champion. So this year he has won 14 out of 22, if I'm not wrong, races. And of the, you know, that has put him, that has made him, in fact, that has helped him defend the title he won in 2021. And uh, another three races left as of today. Yet he's won the World Championship. So he's exceptionally good, ladies and gentlemen. I love Formula One. I watch every, almost every Grand Prix. Grand Prix, it's French. Grand Prix, P-R-I. The last letters are silent. And you know, um, it means grand prize. Grand prize. With which African nations did the Indian Navy participate in the maiden? Maiden means first. Trilateral. Lat is a root there. La, ra, lat, L-A-T. Lat means let, side. So three-sided. Trilateral exercise named the IMT Trilat. IMT stands for India, Mozambique and Tanzania. That is the full name of IMT. India, Mozambique and Tanzania. Trilateral. See, Trilat. Okay. Now this is Mozambique. This is Mozambique and this is Tanzania. 
both have a long what do you say bound you know new coast mm, let's go past this let's look let me take you to these two countries why don't you write uh, mozambique the capital is maputo m a p u t o maputo m a p u t o maputo uh maputo the president is philip newsy philip f e l i p e philip newsy n u u sorry n y u s i i'm sorry n y u s i newsy the currency is metical m e t i c a l metical m e t i c a l metical next leave one line space see in my childhood when we i remember this question from a quiz in school days i'm talking of the early 90s late 80s and early 90s which country's name contains all the single letter name contains all the five vowels you see mozambique has all the five vowels o a i u e yeah of course if you look at more than one word like united arab emirates all the vowels but this is one word okay tanzania is a country here tanzania the capital is dodoma d o d o m a d o d o m a dodoma and um, the president is samia suluhu hasan or samia hasan s a m i a s a s a m i a samia hasan h a a s a n single s samia hasan you can write with the double s also no harm it's a proper noun h a s s a n okay the currency is shilling s h i l l i n g shilling this is mauritius seychelles both are world famous as you know as tourist destinations a lot of indians go to mauritius which indian spiritual leader has been appointed chair of the c20 an official engagement group of the g20 this is mata amritananda mai and she heads this um, ashram also and uh, you know what is a c20 you could write this uh, the c20 is um, uh, what say yeah civil services civil society organization civil society organization of the g20 of the g20 of the g group of 20 civil society organization of the g20 to promote to promote non business contacts non business is people to people culture based contacts non business contacts okay yeah any idea about who these guys are shankar vijayendra saraswati chinna jeer and all hmm so never mind you write shankar vijayendra saraswati ji is the jagat guru if i'm not wrong the 70th jagat guru of kanchi kamakshi peetam kanchi kamakshi peetam kanchi kamakshi peetam chinna jeer is a head of um, a particular branch in fact he propose he 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 expounds sri vaishnavism sri vaishnavism ravi shankar and sadguru you know so which city hosted a 12th edition of india camp with the theme vision 2020 chemicals and petrochemicals build india well of course Uh, they do build india it's um, new delhi that hosted this event you could write one thing the minister of chemicals and fertilizers write his name union minister of union minister of chemicals and fertilizers chemicals and fertilizers dash 
डॉक्टर मनसुख मांडविया मनसुख एम ए एन एस यू के एच डॉक्टर मनसुख मांडविया एम ए एन डी ए वी आई वाई ए मांडविया मनसुख मांडविया ओके Which institution recently released a report? By the way, I just want to tell you a bit about chemicals. India is the world's sixth biggest chemicals producer. India is the sixth biggest chemicals producer. We export our chemicals to over one hundred and seventy countries. Over one hundred and seventy countries. Okay, this would be about thirteen percent of India's total exports. One three. Thirteen percent of India's total exports. Which institution recently released a title, a report titled "Emissions Gap Report 2020: The Closing Window"? The United Nations Environment Program. The United Nations Environment Program. You could write the head office and the person who heads. In the case of UNEP alone, yeah, U UNEP, um, right? Head office Nairobi, N A I R O B I, Nairobi. Nairobi, comma, Kenya, K K E N Y A, Kenya, Kenya. Next, um, its executive director or simply write secretary general or chief is Inger Andersen. Inger, I N G E R, Inger Andersen, A N D E R S S E N, Andersen. Inger Andersen is from Denmark. Denmark, World Bank. We discussed in the previous class. Let's look at choices here. We'll just take the full names in the case of uh, IUCN and Terry. IUCN is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. International Union for Conservation of Nature. Next, Terry. The Energy and Research Institute. Sorry, the Energy and Resources Institute. The Energy and Resources Institute. Greenpeace is. They say we are fighting for environment, but many people see them as um, you know as. As eccentric as someone who's got incorrect priorities and all, so we'll not get into this kind of discussion. But anyway, Greenpeace uh, was started by two persons. You could write the names of this. Yeah, uh, Dorothy D O R O T H Y Dorothy and and Irving Wallace Irving E R V I N G Irving. I'm so sorry. I said Irving Wallace. <laughs> Irving Wallace he is an author. I have read a lot of Irving Wallace. <laughs> I don't know why he came to my mind. Sometimes you know we, there are these are the memories basically. You know you you read somewhere you find out something you learn something, and it sticks to the mind. And in these kinds of moments, they come out. Of course, they came out in the in the wrong context. Um, Greenpeace was founded by. Dorothy and uh, Irving I R V I N G Irving Stowe S T O W E S T O W E Stowe Irving Stowe Okay yeah <laughs> not Wallace yeah The same report that we mentioned yeah, these are the which of the following statements are true India's per capita GHG emissions were a 2.4 trillion, sorry, 2.4 ton carbon dioxide equivalent. The world's average is 6.3. We are one third of world's, yeah. But look at who contributes highest: the US, and I'm sure China would be number two. Yeah, there's not much to discuss here. With which country's air force did the Indian air force participate in the bilateral exercise named Garuda the seventh at air force station in Jodhpur? Yeah. France, was it France? In fact, tomorrow, um, you know, next week I should be going. I will be going to Jodhpur, and Jodhpur has a military airbase. 
It has a civil airport, but that's a very small one. Only about three aircraft can fit into that small place. Yeah. Jodhpur is one of India's biggest air bases. Okay. Where this is the this is the place where France and India, you know, carried out a, military, a, a, a bilateral exercise named Garuda the Seventh. Now, I want you to know that, um, you know, the chief of the Indian Air Force is Vivek Ram Chaudhary. You could write this. Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Vivek Ram Chaudhary. Hmm. Shall we write the names of the, uh, the, the just the, what we say, capitals for a change? We usually write capital, leader, you know, um, the currency. Fr Spain's capital is Madrid, M-A-D-R-I-D, Madrid. France, Paris, Canada, Ottawa, O-T-T-A-W-A, -T -T Ottawa. I repeat, O-T-T-A-W-A, -T -T Ottawa. Italy, Rome. UK, London. Which of the following recently co-chaired the sixth high-level dialogue on migration and mobility in Brussels? India and the European Union. India and the European Union. So this high-level dialogue on migration and mobility was about, you know, um, promotion of uh, safe, orderly and secure migration. So these days, migration, especially illegal migration, has become pretty dangerous. Hundreds of pe you know, people are losing their lives to in, in, you know, in search of a better tomorrow. Unfortunate that is, uh, you know, we still have to get on with the business here. India and the European Union, how big is the European Union? Well, it has 27 members. The European Union has 27 members. And uh, its headquarters are in Brussels, B-R-U-S-S-E-L-S, -S -S -E Brussels. That's the place. Brussels, B-R-U-S-S-E-L-S, -S -S -E Brussels. 27 members, head office, Brussels. You could also write the name of the president of the European, or say, European Union. President of the European Union is, uh, what is that name? Ursula or Ursula, U R S U L A, Ursula, Ursula Van der Leyen. I repeat, U R S U L A, Ursula, Von, V O N, Von, space, Der, D E R, D E R, Der, Leyen, L E Y E N, Leyen. She belongs to Germany. She belongs to Germany. Hmm. Indonesia's president is Joko Widodo. Joko Widodo. W I D O D O. Joko Widodo. Malaysia's prime minister is Ismail. Ismail. Yakub. Ismail Yakub. Japan's prime minister is what's his name? Fumio Kishida. Fumio Kishida. F U M I O. Fumio Kishida. Jay Lee has been appointed executive chairperson of Samsung Electronics, my friend. Samsung Electronics. Um, in Okay, why don't we look at this? Samsung Electronics is the world's second biggest technology company by revenue. You could write this. World's biggest technology company by revenue. World's biggest technology company by revenue. Dash. What's this? Um, Apple. A-P-P-L-E. Apple. Apple. World's biggest comp technology company by revenue, Apple. Second biggest, Samsung Electronics. Samsung Electronics. Next. Look at choices here. Toshiba Corporation. I don't think you need to know about Toshiba and all that. But you know how the name comes? Tokyo. You break that Toshiba. Tokyo Shibura Electric Corporation. Don't write this. Tokyo Shibura Electric Corporation. That's how names come, my friends. Okay? Sony Corporation, you could write. This is very fairly, this is fairly easy to remember. Yeah. Sam, uh, Sony Corporation. Head office, Tokyo. Head office, Tokyo. Oh, we weren't writing uh, head offices. Anyway, head office, 
Tokyo. And the CEO is Kenichiro Yoshida. Kenichiro. K-E-N-I-C-H-I-R-O. Kenichiro. Yoshida. Y-O-S-H-I-D-A. Yoshida. Yoshida. You know, Sony owns PlayStation, AXN, Crunchyroll, plenty of brands. You must have heard of Columbia Pictures. It's owned by these guys. Hmm? Hyundai. Hyundai Motor Company is headed by, you could write this, Chong Yun Sun. C-H-A-U-N-G. Chong. C-H-A-U-N-G. Chong. Yui. E U I E U I U E hyphen Sun S U N Sun Sun Next Huawei Technologies that's how you pronounce it Huawei 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 Technologies is um, a Chinese company uh, many countries in the world have banned um, Huawei Technologies uh, to participate in uh, contracts related to the rollout of 4G and 5G you know, and ISPs or whatever from around the world. Okay. Huawei Technologies, you could write the CEO's name is Ren Zhengfei. Ren, R E N, Ren. R E N, Ren. Zhengfei, Z H E N G F E I. Z H E N G F E I. Rengfei. In which segment has the RBI launched the first digital central bank digital sorry first pilot of the digital bank currency central bank digital currency wholesale um, you could write this what is digital currency digital rupee otherwise so digital rupee dash digital form of digital form of currency digital form of currency dash in electronic form in electronic form comma that can be used that can be used for contactless transactions for contact lens less contactless transactions contactless transactions Okay. Next, retail version, retail version, dash, yet to be opened, yet to be opened, dash, will be available to all, will be available to all users, all users. Next, wholesale, wholesale. Wholesale. Um, wholesale dash access will be restricted access will be restricted except for except for except for what is it um, select except for restricted to select to select Financial institutions to select financial institutions. Financial institutions. Chika? So it will pretty much like the currency that you have in your pocket, only in digital form. There are a lot of advantages. See, these notes get crumpled, physical notes get crumpled, they could get lost and everything. But digital currencies like you know what we are going to have they are meant to be used for as a substitute for physical money so, so this will also lower the cost of our maintenance upkeep for, of you know garment um, what's say equipment printing equipment plus the fact that these currencies are what say are available in digital form so the question of tearing you know things going bad won't arise
So it will be your money. It's just that it converted into electronic form. Okay. Which nation launched the second lab module named Mengtian for its space station? China. You could write this. Name of Chinese space station. Name of Chinese space station. Tiangong. T I A N G O N G. T I A N G O G. Tiangong. O N G. Okay. Tiangong. Next. First module. First module. Tian He. T I A N H E. Tian He. T I A N H E. Tian He. Dash. Okay, of course, it will be in China. No? Where else will it be? China. Number two. Second module. First module is Tian He. Second module is this. Meng Tian. Meng Tian. Meng Tian. Okay. See, China is building its own space station up there. Earlier, they were using the services of the Interna uh, International Space Station, which has been developed by 17, uh, so which has been developed by uh, a lot of organizations, including NASA, European Space Agency, ESA, CNSA, China, Japan's JAXA, yeah, uh, Canada. So plenty of organizations have come together to build, uh, you know, uh, the International Space Station. But in the case of the Chinese uh, space station, Tian, uh, sorry, Tiangshan, only one country is carrying out all the work. That's China, my friends. That is China. The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee, the authority that provides, that approves trials and re releases genetically modified crops, paved the way for the commercial release of GM mustard. GEAC comes under the Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Who is the guy who heads this ministry? You could write this. Yeah. Minister of Environment, Forest and um, Climate Change, dash. Bhupinder Yadav. Bhupinder Yadav. Bhupinder Yadav. Okay. Hmm. He also heads another ministry, right? This name. Labor and employment. Labor and employment. Labor and employment. Next, look at choice one. Ministry of Commerce and Industry. We mentioned a while ago about uh, Piyush Goyal, who heads three major ministries. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Textiles, and Ministry of, um, uh, what is it? Um, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Narendra Singh Tomar. Narendra Singh Tomar. Narendra Singh Tomar. T O M A R. Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Pashupati Nath Paras. You could write this. Pashupati Nath N A T H Nath Paras P A R A S Paras. Next, last one. Ministry of Rural Development is headed by Giriraj Singh. Giriraj Singh. Giriraj Singh. See, he heads two ministries. One is Rural Development and the second one is Panchayat Raj. Panchayat Raj. Panchayat Raj. Who will let the panel set up to strengthen the assessment and recognition of higher education institutions in India? K. Radha Krishnan. He is the chairperson of the board of governors at IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur. So, you look at Bharat Bhaskar and Mridul Hajarika. All three are members of this committee, my friends. All these three. Mridul, Bharat and K. Radha Krishnan. Okay. Yeah. Which ministry signed an agreement with Patanjali Ayurveda for pro marketing products made by women's self-help groups? Ministry of Rural Development and we mentioned that Ministry of Rural Development is headed by the same guy who heads, you know, uh, what we say, uh, who heads um, Rural Development. Yes. 
uh, who is Panchayati Raj? Panchayati Raj. So Panchayati Raj and Rural Development are headed by Giriraj Singh. What about choice one? Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is headed by Dharmendra Pradhan. Dharmendra Pradhan. P-R-A-D-H-E-N. Pradhan. Dharmendra Pradhan. Dash. Dash. Ministry of Education. Ministry of Education. So he heads two powerful ministries. One is Ministry of, um, you know, what is it? Um, education. The second is the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Look at choice two. Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. Right. Narayan Tatu Rani. Narayan Rani. R-A-N-E. Narayan Rani. Choice 5. Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Nirmala Sitaraman. Nirmala Sitaraman. Nirmala Sitaraman. Who among the following persons won the titles in the Open and Women's section suspected in the 2022 Asian Continental Chess Championship? Uh, Prague and Nandida. Fair. Uh, do you know who is the highest ranked Indian chess player? The highest ranked Indian chess player is Vishwanathan Anand. He is in the ninth position worldwide. So you could write this. Ninth position or ninth rank. Vishwanathan Anand. Next. 22. 22. Vidit. V-I-D-I-T. V-I-D-I-T. Vidit Gujarati. Vidit Gujarati. I'll give you names that are there in the top 25. Vishnath and Anand in 9th place. 22nd place is Vidit Santoshi. Vidit Santosh Jagriti. Uh, sorry, Gujarati. I'm so sorry, Gujarati. Uh, third one is rank 24. Rank 24. Gukesh Dhammaraju. Gukesh. Gukesh. Dhammaraju. Dhammaraju. India will be hosting a maiden MotoGP World Championship race labeled the Grand Prix of Bharat as the Buddha at the Buddha International Circuit in Greater Noida. Greater Noida. You know what is the full name of Noida? Now people don't know, people don't care actually, but you know when the place came about, it was called New Okla, O-K-H-L-A, New Okla Industrial Development Corporation. That is Noida. Not corporation, agency. Ah, uh, sorry, authority. Uh, today it seems to be a little, you know, blender bus. New Okla Industrial Development Authority. That's how Noida comes. Hmm? Which country is now home to the world's longest train passenger train that has hundred coaches, measures nearly two kilometers, and has over four thousand five hundred seats? Switzerland. Now this train was launched to commemorate the 175th, 175th anniversary, you know, of the, the, the laying of the first railway in Singapore. Okay. Uh, so 175 years celebration of the first railway in Switzerland. Switzerland does not have a capital. Please remember this. It is a, one of the only two places in the world to not have a capital of its own. It's uh, one is, uh, see, uh, we said two now. One is, um, you know, uh, Switzerland. The other is, uh, what's the name of the other place? Nauru, N-A-U-R-U, which is an island in the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Which space company launched the Falcon Heavy rocket, the most powerful operation rocket in the world, into the geosynchronous Earth orbit? Geosynchronous means it moves along with the, with the pace of the Earth like this. Okay, the Earth is moving this way. This geosynchronous satellite is fixed at one point in the sky, directly one above one point in the, on the Earth. So right above this, the satellite will always be located. This is called geosynchronous. Now, one more thing you need to know is that um, um, if I have, I think that would be too much for you. But anyway, 
India is one of the pioneers of GS, geosynchronous uh, launch vehicles, my friend, GSLV. Okay, one of the pioneers of GSLV. So, we when we launch, we have Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or GSLV like this. Fair. SpaceX is run by Elon Musk. Elon Musk, E L O N, Elon Musk, M U S K, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Blue Origin is owned by Jeff Bezos. It's owned by Jeff Bezos. The rest you don't really require now. Which of the following institutions joined hands to accelerate the financial digitization of 10 million smallholder farmers in India? All of them. You could write this before I discuss small farmers and everything. Just write Bayer CEO, Bayer CEO, Werner, W-E-R-N-E-R, -E I repeat, W-E-R-N-E-R, -E Werner, Bauman, B-A-U-M-A-N-N, -N. B-A-U-M-A-N-N, Bauman, Werner Bauman, Mastercard, Mastercard CEO is Michael Myback, Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Michael Myback, M-I-E-B-A-C-H, M I E B A C H Michael Mayback. Hmm. So who is a small farmer? Write this. One who farms, one who farms, we are discussing small farmer. One who farms land of land of more than one hectare more than one hectare but below two hectares but below two hectares i repeat one who farms land of above one hectare but below two hectares is a small farmer but sometimes in interviews they could ask you but what's who is a marginal farmer you could write marginal farmer m a r g i n a l marginal farmer Dash up to one hectare, up to one hectare, up to one hectare. And if you are not comfortable with what's a hectare, how big is a hectare? One hectare equals, I think, 2.5 acres. One point, oh, sorry, one hectare equals 2.5 acres. Okay. Operation Vigilant Storm is a joint air exercise connected between recently between the US and, the, and South Korea. This is South Korea. So, okay, I'll do one thing. In the next class, I'll take the same question and I'll tell you a story. Next class, that would be on Wednesday. I'll tell you a story about the Korean conflict. Korean conflict. This is one of my favorite stories. South Korea. I'll take this question there at the right place. Okay, guys. Do not worry, I'll tell you the story in detail as to why exactly is the North such, you know, so anti-South and why it's against Japan, why it's against, uh, you know, US, uh, why it has only two friends, China and Russia. Yeah. We'll discuss all of that stuff. For now, that's all from me. Have a lot of fun. Stay curious and be safe this weekend. Thank you so much.